Now joined by one of the GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week, it's Ryan Luth of the wrestling team. Ryan, on Saturday, you helped lead the team to a third straight conference championship. Take us through Saturday. You're named most outstanding um, wrestler for the meet as well. Just everything that happened, the emotion, the celebration, everything, just take us through it through your eyes. Yeah, um, yeah, we had a great day. Everybody wrestled real well. Um, you know, we had some some things going on in the lineup, and we just, you know, kept going after it. Um, guys stepping up here and there. Uh, yeah, it's always fun to uh, compete in a, a cool environment like that. They really took their time and, and spaced everything out so we could have uh, finals rounds start later and under a spotlight and everything. So that was fun, and I think everyone enjoyed the environment there. So you yourself, you had wins by Tech Fall, by Fall, and then major decision in, in the championship match at 157. What was different about each one of those matches? Kind of take us through, you know, from the quarterfinals to the semifinals, and then kind of re reassessing yourself and getting ready for the finals. Yeah, um, each match is, uh, I approach it the same way in that I'm just trying to go out and, and you know, have fun, put up points on the board, and uh, do the best I can for myself and for my team. And each each opponent, you know, uh, reacts differently to things I'm doing, and I react differently to them. So, the tech fall just that, that happened to work out that way. Um, the fall, I just knew uh, something. I felt something come up that I knew I could get, and um, and then wrestling against Avery in the finals. I had wrestled him before, so I had a I had a better game plan there and um, executed it well. On the season, twelve and zero after not being here for the fall portion of the schedule, kind of getting a later jump on the start, but jumping right in and making an immediate impact with it only really being a good six weeks or so since you've, you know, really rejoined the team and started wrestling again. How would you say how those, those six weeks have really gone? Yeah, it's, it's gone <laughs> fast. It has, uh, it's been crazy because it feels like I've been here, you know, for a long time, but it really hasn't been that long, but I've been working at home, um, you know, wrestling and working out at home. So it's, it's felt like the same length of a season, but, it is different once you get back in the room and start competing again, and um, it's been great. It's been fun. I'm looking forward to what comes next. So what's next? Two weeks from now, the NCAA Regionals. You're ranked number one in the region at 157. What do you have to do in two weeks' time to guarantee that you get back to Nationals? Yeah, um, just keep keep doing everything I've been doing, keep practicing hard, uh, looking over technique, You know, watching my film, seeing where I could get better. I'm working with my coaches every day, you know, my teammates. So just keep working hard, keep having fun too. We've been emphasizing fun is an important thing. You know, sports hard. And so having as much fun as you can with it really makes, really makes the time go by better and uh, makes me wrestle better. I think everyone feeds off that positive energy. It's Ryan Luth of the wrestling team and one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week. Ryan, thanks for joining us and best thanks. of luck the rest of the year. Thank you. Joined by Bryn Martinson of the women's swimming team and one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week. Bryn, this past weekend at the ODAC Championships, another dominating performance for yourself and route to a second consecutive most outstanding performer on uh, the women's side at the conference championship. How would you assess how you swam last week? Um, I was really happy with it. I think just to be like right on my best times. I mean, obviously you're always wanting to improve, but... I will take the results I had, especially just so much energy from this team motivating me to be better every single time I race. As a team, another conference championship make that 15 conference championships in the last 16 seasons. What were you most impressed with with some of your teammates and what you guys were able to accomplish as a team? Um, I mean, I was impressed with everyone, but I would say really just the freshmen. They really amazed me on both the women's and the men's teams, how eager they are, how much energy they brought, and how much they really stepped it up to the plate for just being their first year and really uh, raise the expectations. To kind of look back at the season at large, if you could give yourself a grade for how your junior season has gone to this point, what would that be? Uh, I'd give it like an A minus. I mean, you always you always want to be better and keep improving. But like I said, I was still really, really happy with it. And I don't necessarily like base success just based off of like my times and stuff like that. So as you await kind of to see how things fall with the, with the national picture and nationals being a month away, mm -hmm. over the next couple of weeks, what can you do to put yourself in the best spot so if time comes in four weeks' time, you're, you're ready to swim your best races of the season? Yeah, so like you said, we, we are in a little bit of a holding pattern right now, just kind of waiting to see if one of our relays does qualify, if individuals qualify. But right now we're just trying to get our feel back for the water, kind of get our endurance back up and make sure, you know, 
we obviously want to prepare the best we can. So just getting back into shape and getting excited to possibly have another opportunity to race. She's Bryn Martinson of the Women's Swimming Team, one of our GeneralSports.com Athletes of the Week. Bryn, thanks for joining us, and best of luck. Thank you.